Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instruction on completing the task at hand. Visit my YouTube channel and watch my disclaimer video. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find the information you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, on this video, I'm going to take some ohm readings from my cam sensor and my crank sensor. One of the people that's watching my videos having problems starting getting sparked. So anyway, your cam sensor is right under this mount right here, bolted on the side of the motor with two, I think they're T, maybe 40s or T35s. It may have some other kind of bolts, but that's your cam sensor. And your crank sensor is down a little lower. You see the wire with the 102460 number on it. And it's a 10 millimeter that bolts that crank sensor to the top of the transmission. Easy to get to. If you look down at that orangish colored plug, that is the cam position sensor. It's in a special bracket that's secured to the motor somehow. So I think it's real important to keep that cam sensor connector plug protected. And not just have it dangling around in there. Just below that cam sensor connector is the crank sensor connector. It's white, got a few wires in front of it, but it's also clipped in a bracket that's attached to the motor. So you want to keep those things secure and not have them flopping around. I got my uh, cam sensor unplugged. It has three uh, prongs on the connector. The one that's furthest closest to the passenger side and the one that's in the middle is what I'm getting a reading from and the reading goes to 550 when I have it set on 1000K on the ohms. So I'm gonna go ahead and probe it so you can see where it lies and let me pause the video so we're not wasting time okay I have the positive lead on the center post and the negative lead on the post closest to the passenger side and when I come and look at my own meter I got it set at 1k and I'm at 5 so I got 5k I guess that's what it means on the cam sensor so now I'm going to check the crank sensor next Okay, now I have the crank sensor unplugged. It's just got two prongs, so it doesn't matter which side you have which wire on. And when I come over here, I got it set to 1000K, and I'm at 2.5. So, on the crank sensor, it looks like it's 250. And if you got any questions, go ahead and post them. Maybe somebody will answer them, interpret what exactly this means. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.